rolling, rolling. Hello. Gotta get ready. Gotta get excited. Do I want this? Yeah. Does it look dumb? No. Do you think it looks dumb? Yes, it looks dumb. It was. Wow, that was exhausting. That was the story. <laughs> <laughs> Is this boring? No. Hi, everybody. It's me, Christina Lovato, back at you from my apartment. Still here. Uh, me and my assistant, Bob, is back. I'm uh, back. Bob is wearing a pink shirt. Pink, pink, pink. Show them your pink. Oh. On Wednesdays, we were pink. <laughs> I could or could not wear my Mean Girls beanie to do this Mean Girls q and I'm so excited. So for those of you that are just joining me, I say this every video, but just in case, my name is Christina Alabato. I usually play Gretchen Wieners in Mean Girls on Broadway. Ding. Um, we are on our hiatus right now, as we all are with the Broadway shutdown and with the world taking a big old pause. I am here to do the Mean Girls version of my Q&A. Ready? Go! What is the Broadway audition process like? I auditioned way, way, way at the beginning, probably in before DC, so before it had its out of town, I was in auditions for Katie. And just like I always talk about, you get a billion no's, it just didn't, it was just kind of like, oh yeah, yeah thank you for coming. But then the show got mounted and it went up and I was like, oh my God, the show is amazing. And I got a call from my agent that was like, they would love to see you to replace Ashley as Gretchen. And I was like, huh, I sort of thought that I would audition for Katie again or even Janice, but Gretchen, sure, let's do it. I probably had a total of three auditions for Gretchen from start to finish. Uh, the first one was just with our music director. Three weeks later, I came back in for Casey Nicola, our director. And Casey gave me a couple of adjustments, but he was super positive with me. I, I could tell that it was good energy in the room, which always feels so nice, because you don't get that all the time. Literally, the next day, I was in final callbacks for Gretchen Wieners on Broadway with Casey Nicola and Mary Mitchell and Tina Fey and Jeff and all the producers and, um, and Nell and everyone involved. And uh, I did my full packet. Another question was, what was my packet? For Gretchen, it was meet the plastics. Yes, Regina, no, Regina. And it was the scene leading into what's wrong with me. And that was it. I think that was it. And so I did the packet. Tina Fey laughed for one second, which made me like want to poop my pants and also was like, I don't care what happens. She laughed at me. And then I was done and I got the call like a week later. So it was a pretty fast process. Sometimes for Broadway, it can be slower than that. It can take years of auditioning for a show it can take seconds uh, seconds <laughs> but this one was fairly quick how did you feel when you found out that you'd be the new Gretchen also I love you thanks um how did I feel when I got Gretchen I freaked out of course you know I started my career I've done my whole career on Broadway as an ensemble member and as a cover and it's been a goal of mine for a long time to to do a principal on Broadway I'm so excited and nervous and grateful I cried the minute that Ashley Park found out that I was getting Gretchen she literally was like I will meet you wherever you are right the second and I was like well I'm at a bar in Midtown and I don't even know how it was possible she appeared at the bar in like Two seconds. I uh, legitimately, I like blinked and she was there and she was, she tackled me. What's rehearsal like as a replacement? Rehearsal as a replacement is different than rehearsal if you were going to start a Broadway show. I had about three weeks from start to audiences. I was in the rehearsal room with our associate director, Casey Hushin, and Holly Coombs, our PSM, our production stage manager, and all the other stage managers and the dance captains. So I also came in with Danny Wade, my girl who is Katie on the tour, and and together they taught me the show. So it was just me with all those people just by myself in a room with them. They would play all the different characters. Holly and Casey would go back and forth between being Katie and Regina. And then I would go to the theater at night and I would watch the show. In that third week, I had my put in. So when you have a put in on Broadway, it's this big rehearsal. You're on stage for the first time with the entire company in your full costumes and full hair. You kind of feel crazy because you're the only one. So imagine everyone else is in there, Lululemons, chillaxin, and I am full blown Gretchen Wieners by myself. So it felt a little insane, but it was so much fun. And that was on a Thursday and the following Tuesday, I was Gretchen Wieners full time. That whole process of learning the show as a replacement was incredible because of the people that were teaching me. And Mean Girls was always so amazing at allowing me to find it my own way and to make it my own. And that I'm so grateful for. Is this boring? No. So this... <gasps> Ooh, look at this plant. She's kind of pink. This is Bob's plant for another Tina plant. I don't want this anymore. Gone! <laughs> uh, how's it different... Um... 
creating a role on Broadway compared to taking over an already existing one. So when you start a show from the ground up, you're in rehearsals, development, people are rewriting scenes and songs and trying things on you. If a line feels funny in your mouth, the writer can adjust it. So as a replacement, the biggest difference is, is that you are going into shoes that were already created. It's this interesting balance of trying to find your own way through it while paying homage to Ashley Park, to Lacey Chabert from the movie. A replacement can be tricky because you don't want to do a carbon copy. I literally can't copy those two women because I'm not those two women. So you want to make it your own while still like, you know, taking the things that they have built for you. The most interesting thing about being a replacement is you're like sort of stepping onto a train that is going and you want to seamlessly step on while feeling like it's your own. This feels so weird that I'm just holding this. What's your favorite Mean Girls memory? My brain goes right to my first night as Gretchen. That was like a huge experience for me and we've done a lot of fun photo shoots and video shoots of us being in character and in ninth grade I gave Regina a homemade friendship bracelet and she said she couldn't wear it because she's allergic to fugly which is totally fair turns out she's not allergic to the 14 karat gold cuff my parents got me for my bat mitzvah which is kind of like a friendship bracelet so I gave that to her instead she's an amazing best friend as a replacement you don't necessarily get all of those experiences so i feel so freaking fortunate what's your favorite costume to wear in mean girls by far no comparison that cat suit i was a little nervous about it at first but i put it on and i was like oh, i feel like catwoman it is my favorite oh, bob what's your favorite mishap on stage so i've busted a lot of zippers in this show for some reason and my fit bob in whose house I have this jumper on that has a zipper all the way, it zips up like this in the front. I went to zip it up and it completely busted. And this is a quick change. We're trying to get things closed with safety pins, but right now I have like four seconds before I have to be on. And so we're hurrying I go, and everyone is scrambling. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm not gonna make it. And then Gianna goes, here, take this shirt. And she throws her shirt at me and I tied her on my waist, closing this part of the zipper. Then I'm holding it like this, then I'm holding a tray of shots. And I'm like, what's wrong with me? Why are you mad? Why do we fight? And I'm like, what am I gonna do? Because now I have to let go of the tray and then I I have to dance. I do the scene holding my thing, but this part is open so you can see my belly button. And then I do the whole dance with one arm because I'm holding this whole part. So I'm going out a party. Here's the procedure. Text all your friends. It was, wow, that was exhausting. That was the story. <laughs> what joke never gets old in Mean Girls? Um, where she goes, mommy, get out. I always find it so funny. And when I'm limp rolling her pants, I always almost laugh. Uh, speaking of Regina, name all the Gen Z words that Renee's taught you. Oh my God, Renee. I, my vocab has gotten so cool. I learn new words and then I forget them immediately. But the one that has really stuck with me that Renee has taught me and taught Kate and, and all of us is slay. She's like, let's slay, let's slay this thing. And so we always slay. And before we come out, Renee goes, Let's slay. And we're like, yes, let's slay. And then Kate bought us socks that said slay. Oh, she taught me Stan. Stan? Like I stan you? Yeah, she taught me, like, I can sit. <laughs> I'm like, who's Stan? No, she taught me about Stan. One thing you wish was included in the musical that's in the movie. My favorite Janice line, your mom's chest hair. And also the Janice is Lebanese because in the movie she's Lebanese. And I was always like, Lebanese, woo. When Gretchen's on her cell phone and the ball comes and hits her in the head and she drops her phone, I think that's so funny and so Gretchen. What's your favorite dressing room moment with Kate? God, the antics that happen in that room. When Curtis Holland took over his own Instagram and then me and Kate took over our own Instagrams and then we reprised it just a couple of weeks ago and took over each other's Instagrams. <laughs> I can't get over how dumb that was. What's your worst fear while on stage? I do have panicky moments where I'm like, I'm not gonna remember my lines. I'm not gonna remember this song. It is so funny how your brain goes like a billion different places and you start doubting yourself. And then you're like, no, no, take a breath. You know what you're doing. And then sometimes, sometimes in the happy dance when I'm really close to the lip of the stage. And every once in a while, I get really nervous that on my turn, I'm going to turn off of it or out of it and fall in the pit. I do think about that sometimes. What clique would you sit with in the cafeteria? The band geeks. Drama geeks. Uh, drama geeks. So in high school, we, you know, not to make it this too sad, but I really didn't sit with anybody. I kind of sat by myself or I sat with like one friend. This is a tough time for me. Keep going. You can make it through.
I'd read a lot of books and hung out with myself. If you could play any other character in Mean Girls, who would you be? I love one day, and maybe I'll do it while I'm bored here. I want to sing I'd Rather Be Me. That's like always been one of my favorite songs. Do you and Gretchen have anything in common? Yes, of course we do. I think one of the reasons that I was so successful in my audition is because I literally was like, I want them to like me. And that's all Gretchen wants. She just wants them to like her. And I think not only as actors, but as people and artists, we all, I feel like, connect with Gretchen. I get so much mail and DMs and messages from all of you about how you connect with Gretchen because you just want to be enough. You want people to like you. You want people to appreciate you for you. And I think that's Gretchen's main issue is that she wants Regina to love her and to appreciate her. And But I feel like I totally connect with that aspect of wanting people to understand you and you wanting to please people and I'm a people pleaser so sometimes I really understand that. What's the hardest part about playing Gretchen? Her energy because like right now I'm feeling super energetic but on those days where I'm tired I'm like oh my god I wish Gretchen could take like a chill pill for one show though Gretchen is always at 150 percent and there's no way of doing her any less. So maybe it isn't the biggest challenge. Maybe it's the thing that makes it the best when I'm tired is that she's on and I have to be on. And the shoes, oh my God, the shoes, my feet. My feet with two weeks off have made such a recovery. I'm gonna have such a hard time going back and getting my feet back used to those heels. Bob, are you bored? Do you wanna come in the frame and ask me questions? You're wearing pink, you look so cute. Wearing pink. Wait, now you're so much lower than me. It's all right. Go ahead, what's the next one? Well, the next question's, um, what's it like working with Jeff Richmond? I love oh, Jeff he's Richmond. so sweet. He's the greatest. Him and Tina are like dream team, power couple, killing it all the time. They're the smartest people ever and totally like my idols. So it's cool to work with your idols and meet your idols and be like, oh, you're actually insanely incredible. If I send you fan mail at Mean Girls, will you eventually answer it? Of course I will. I love getting fan mail, especially when you guys send me your artwork. If you send it to me, we put them on the walls all over the theater. I put them in my dressing room. I will never not write back to you, even if it takes a little time. I'll just send me an envelope, uh, a stamped envelope, and I'll send it right back to you. All right, speed round. What would Gretchen do in quarantine? Oh my God, she would go insane. She would freak out. She would do this. She would do that. She would do her makeup. She would check in on Regina. She would be like, Regina, can I come help you? I don't want you to get sick. I'm going to help you. She would freak out and think that everyone thinks she's insane and that she's sick and she gave it to Regina. Did I give it to Regina? Did I give it to Karen? I was Karen to my friend. Am I ever going to go back to school? Where's Jason? How'd you realize Kate's plant was fake? I squeezed it and it was hollow. <laughs> This one's not fake, though. For also, sure. I hope it actually oh. is fake. That would be a twist. That would be a twist. <laughs> check back when we're back in the theater to double, triple check that that is a fake plant. I am sure that it is. I literally squeezed it. I took it like this, and I was like, this looks fake. And I went like this, and I squished it, and it didn't hurt, and it was plastic, and I touched it. Man, I hope it's fake. If oh, it is not fake. 20 oh. bucks, it's real. Do you still get nervous before shows? I don't think so. Sometimes when it's a big show, like on um, Barrett and Kate and Gray's last show and also on Erica's last show, just the energy. It's not even nervous. It's like there's just so much going on and the anticipation and like you're just like right. so excited. So I think uh, that made me like feel a little butterfly which is fun. And our first show, three shows of our new show, starting with the new cast, I was really nervous because my body is ingrained to do one thing and we were doing something else. And I will be so nervous when we get back. Oh my God. What is it meant to be a part of a musical that has helped so many high schoolers? Oh, it means the world. It means the world to me. High schoolers and young people that connect to the themes of the show, that connect to feeling like outcasts or feeling like Gretchen. I mean, to be able to help people, students that are struggling like I was or trying to find their way or find themselves. It is the best thing about what we do. Last question. I'm gonna slowly slide away now. Bye, Bob. What is the most difficult thing about being away from Mean Girls right now? Ugh. Everything. This has been the strangest, strangest experience being away from something, like it being taken away from you so fast. And the strangest thing has just been being away from something that I love so deeply. And I just think when we get back, it's gonna be such a celebration of the show and of doing what we love. And maybe we'll even look at it differently than we ever did. I, I miss the community. I miss the show. I miss doing, I miss being Gretchen. I miss dressing up and having fun and making people laugh. Some of you know what, what my year was. and. It brought me so much joy and it made me realize and remember the power of theater. So I really miss that a lot. Thank you everybody for joining me. Like, subscribe, share, and create for yourselves, create for those around you, stay positive, and we're gonna get through this, all of us together. And I love you guys so much! Woo! Whoa.